Well, we know about the occasional earthquakes in the Trinidad area, but they could be a lot closer to Colorado Springs than we realize. Yeah, according to the Colorado Geological Survey, two fault lines just west of city limits are capable of producing major quakes. KRDO News Channel 13 Scott Harrison is tracking this story, new on 13 at 430. When we drive through Ute Pass on Highway 24, we come to expect flash flooding and rock slides. But you probably never think of experiencing an earthquake. That's what a family who just moved here from California thought. Kids were looking at the rocks and saying, gosh, I wonder what it would take for one of those to fall. And um, I said, oh, it would probably be some huge earthquake. She's right. This map from the State Geological Survey shows that Ute Pass and the nearby Rampart Range area have fault lines that are unlikely to, but are capable of, generating magnitude 7.0 earthquakes. That could be devastating to the region. The state survey estimates that a powerful quake could kill as many as 700 people, depending on the time of day, leave more than 7,000 homeless, and destroy 13,000 buildings. A quake on the Rampart Fault could be even worse. Up to 1,000 deaths, 11,000 homeless, and 19,000 destroyed buildings. Even though the odds of a major earthquake here are small, the city's Office of Emergency Management still includes them in disaster plans. What would we have to do to prepare for it, and then how would we respond to it? Earthquakes are particularly difficult to, to plan for because there's no early warning. A good warning might be if balanced rock at Garden of the Gods ever falls. Scott Harrison, KRDO News Channel 13. Thank you, Scott. State seismologists uh, say another area for a possible major quake is east of Pueblo at the junction of Bent, Crowley, and Otero counties.